Hey everyone, Kevin here. Over the last week or so, I've talked about mining. I've had some discussions with you guys. Um, there has been a kind of miners versus gaming thing, and this seems to be a hot topic right now. I saw a video was uploaded last night by Jay's Two Cents, a really good YouTuber, and on Twitter there was a huge discussion about it. A lot of people were replying back and forth. Um, you know, some people supporting miners, some people supporting gamers. But there was a few things that kept coming up. Uh, well, there was one thing in particular that kept coming up, and I thought I'd address it in this video. I saw a few people saying that miners destroy graphics cards, and they say that they can't even buy used because the graphics cards will have been used by miners, and they will be ruined. And you know, they won't be, they won't be in good condition. Um, that I don't think is true. I mean, the answer to that, you know, to get ahead of ourselves, what what messes up a graphics card more? What destroys a graphics card more? Is it a mining, someone who's been used, uh, using a card for mining, or is it someone who has been using a card for gaming? Um, and I think the answer is, it depends. But I will say some things about that. Firstly, uh, what I would say is, gamers will maybe play with the, you know, the, use their graphics card every day. They'll play games every day. But, you know, it's not like 24 hours. They'll be maybe using it 4 hours a day, 5 hours a day, depending how much they game. But, it is worth noting that gamers tend to overclock. You know, so if you've saved up to buy a 1080 Ti, a lot of these cards, like the one I've got, are designed for overclocking, and you'll put it maybe 110, 115% of the voltage. You're trying to get as much performance out of a graphics card as you can because you've saved up money to buy it. And that makes sense. You know, you want to increase your frames per second. You want to increase, um, well, simply the performance that you're getting. On the other hand, miners. And miners, they're running their, their graphics cards all day long, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, they're running the graphics cards. But what a lot of people are forgetting is that they're not actually overclocking them. They're actually underclocking them. If you look at uh, mining discussions on Reddit or any forum about mining, you will see that most of them are trying to aim for between 60, 70, 80% uh, power. So you're underpowering the graphics card. The reason being that because of electricity costs, you want to keep your electricity down your electricity costs down, but try and get performance up. Uh, and it's kind of a law of diminishing returns, so you try and find this sweet spot. Um, for example, someone might find that as 70% to get an Ethereum or whatever hash rate, say, I don't know, say 30. Um, and they find that when they go up to 90% or 100%, what a gamer would use, or 110%, the hash rate only goes up to, you know, 34, 35. But that performance, you know, that increase uh, in performance as far as a mining point of view is offset by the fact that they're putting 30% more power, you know, they're spending 30% more on electricity. So that's what I'm doing with my cards as well. You know, if you're, if you're trying to mine, you're generally trying to put your cards at, you know, 60, 70%. Um, you want to keep your electricity costs down, but keep your mining rates high. So that's, you know, from a used perspective, if you're trying to buy something, I can understand why gamers are frustrated because people are saying, well, I don't want to buy a mining card, but you go on EV, people aren't saying it's a mining card. And there's people who are mining who are stating this has never been used for mining, despite the fact they're selling off 20 or 30 of them. Um, so you need, to, you need to be careful. But what I would say to gamers out there is that someone who has been gaming and overclocking their card all the time, that card could be in a much, a much worse state than someone who has been mining and keeping it at 60% power. Now, obviously, there's general wear and tear. Fans, for example, um, could, you know, if, if fans are going 24 hours a day, you think that the fans would be worn out quickly. Fans can be replaced. But, um, again, this depends to who is mining the card. You know, someone who has been mining and has been cooling the room or has been running, if you've been running a card at 100% for mining 24 hours a day, the fans will burn out quicker. But if you've been running with 60% at a constant speed, they shouldn't wear out that quick. It's certainly not within the warranty period. Um, so I think there's a lot of false information out there. Um, it's, it's a difficult thing to test. I searched online to see if there was any documentation on this, any tests that showed you conclusively whether, you know, a, a card that's been used for gaming versus a card that's been used for mining, you know, which one is better after a few years. But there's nothing conclusive there. The re you know, the reason being that it depends. But what I would say is that bear that in mind. If you're looking for a used card, uh, a used GPU, a used graphics card, 
bear in mind that mining, a card that's been used for mining, doesn't necessarily mean that the card is in bad condition. In fact, someone who's been gaming and they've been overclocking and they've been pushing it, um, then that card could be in a worse state. Now, this is another kind of bizarre thought, but there's, I would say that most miners are, you know, they have to learn how to be able to build a PC and they're obviously looking to get the most from their cards as well. So they're not looking to burn out their cards. They want their cards to last years. On the other hand, gamers, there are a lot of people who game who perhaps don't know how to build a PC or perhaps aren't as technical in that regard and they perhaps don't realise the damage that you can do by running a card 10 hours a day or whatever at 100%, 100, you know, 110%, whatever uh, power. So there's lots of factors to take into consideration, but what I would say is gamers overall tend to play in shorter spells, but they overclock, and miners go 24 hours a day, but they underclock. What do you think about this, guys? I've said my piece. Over to you. Leave a comment, and as always, I'll speak to you very soon. Take care.